Hey, my name is Pranay, and in this module, we are going to discuss about the resource pool, like how to monitor resource uses and manage resource pool in your VMware vSphere environment. So, what is resource pool? So, in a one-liner definition, if I'll tell you resource pool, so resp resource pool is a kind of uh, create the pools for a set of virtual machines and uh, assigning the resources accordingly. So. In a definition, if I'll tell you, so resource pool is a logical abstraction of CPU and memory resources. So you create a logical pool and assign CPU memory to that pool, and whatever virtual machines you have inside that pool will get CPU and memory f uh, from that uh, hierarchy. And we use resource pool to share, limit, and reservation of resources for VMs. Uh, like example, if you have one VM one, you want to set. Uh, some kind of share limit or reservation for that VM or you have any set of VMs multiple VMs you can move that VMs to a resource pool and you can set the share limit and reservation to that uh, we need it when CPU and memory resources become constant on the cluster or we need to dedicate amount of the resources for the list of virtual machines so by any chance if you have ESXi host which doesn't have a uh, high memory and you need some specific set of virtual machines we do not imp should not impact due to the memory contention you can assign the reservation you can do create you can you can create a resource pool and assign that reservation to that or you can assign s shares value you can assign a limit and all virtual machines in inside that will get uh, the same uh, resources what you have configured on that so you must have DRS enable on cluster before creating resource pool and to get DRS feature you should have enterprise or enterprise plus license uh, uh, license so anyway uh, we can enable resource pool when we have at least vSphere enterprise version of license available so for that you need licenses a resource pool provide better allocation of CPU and memory resources by using uh, below parameters as the requirement so resource pool has parent ch ch children and sibling in resource pool hierarchy so it has a different different uh, hierarchy so here will I'll show you that in next slide so share we have different uh, distribution type in resource that one is share reservation and limit you can set the share share of uh, for virtual machines you can set reservation for virtual machines and you can set the limit so we here we have hierarchy that we have cluster one inside that we have host and then uh, these are the sibling resource pool resource pool one and resource pool two and this is the parent resource pool and this is child resource pool so this is th the hierarchy of a resource pool so thanks for watching this uh, theoretical part and now we'll jump to the practical and see how to configure resource pool how to create resource pool thanks for your time so uh, if you like this this video please subscribe and share this thank you